What's up, fellow Wolfpack members? Tom Wolf here. Welcome to episode 8 of the Tom Wolf playthrough edition of Silent Hill Downpour. So in the last episode, we found out why Murphy went to jail through that little flashback, and supposedly he was car... He did a car theft on a cop car and drove for 10 hours on a cop chase. But we don't know entirely if he's telling the truth or not. And let's go. <laughs> and our only um, objective in this game is to get the heck out of Silent Hill because, you know, no one wants to stay in Silent Hill <laughs> because it's messed up and stuff. And it's like, I just want to go home and like eat some pizza and like oh like pizza rolls pizza rolls are like my favorite uh food favorite snack food i swear it's perfect avoid the cop car so right here there's a fire truck and if you go down here <laughs> there's water down here and you know you can't go down there because there's too much water i guess and you take this hose and you drain the water. <laughs> that was like the that was the worst way I've ever explained how to do a puzzle. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what to say at that point. Let's see if this works. And then you suck the water out so you can go down there <clears throat> and find out what lies down there. Okay. Well, that guy like drowned in the with a wheelchair. That sucks. Yeah, this game is uh, awesome. <laughs> I love it. Oh, not that I have a key. Oh, jeez. Um, there's like a little card reader right here. Oh, don't hit me. Let's close that door. <laughs> You're good. Alright. Let's put on the radio. This is Johnny Cash, by the way. I actually really like this song. <laughs> they have good music in this game, I gotta say. As I said already. And I like how it's like distant, the music. <laughs> He's like, I just gotta get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god! <laughs> Stay out! <laughs> Alright, we're in the library now. I'm gonna take this X. The X is better. And plus, I think you need it <laughs> to chop down pieces of wood. What is that? Ew. Is that like a like a lamb? Ew. <laughs> Do you see dead lambs at your library? Only at the Silent Hill one. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, fluorescent light. This helps me uncover clues. Like that will not be visible at that. But you see like some like weird lines and shit. <laughs> Firefighter Murphy! <laughs> yeah, I loved it. I- A lot of people hate this game, I'm just saying, like, a lot of people think this is the worst Silent Hill by far. This is like one of the best PS3 games to me, in my opinion. Oh crap- ooh, wow, she- 
<laughs> no mercy. <laughs> Ow, my boo! <laughs> and you could uh, heal yourself by either clicking up or assist 3, or I could just heal myself like this. Uh. <laughs> uh, there we go. And now says 2. There's like a uh, quick shortcuts in this game as well. Alright, hopefully I remember where to go. Is there any first aid in here? Nope. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this library's not built up the code. <laughs> I think he said something here. Looks like somebody has a specific taste in entertainment. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. <laughs> specific taste. <laughs> Alright. I always wanted to climb these at a library. Like, I always did. Like, who doesn't? Like, I want, like, to be on that thing and someone, like, pushes me and I, like... <laughs> <laughs> like, go fast. I always do. Or, like, I. Or I think of, like, that, um. That episode from Arthur, like, having fun isn't hard to find a library card. I, I just love it. I like libraries in games, they're interesting. Hopefully, I just remembered what to do, that's all. What is going on there? There's a map of this area, just in case I get lost, which is most likely I am. Just want to show this off really quick. What the hell? So, uh, there's like a projector right here. And I'm gonna need this for later. I'm just saying right now. Okay. Since it was right next door, I just wanted to show that off really fast. Just so the riddles I do make a little more sense than just me like... That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Really, Tom? Yeah. I'm smart. If you don't understand, you're dumb. Like, no. Because whatever I do in this game, it, it, like, I skip a lot of, like, details and I feel bad. <laughs> Trust me. Like, I'm, I'm dumb. Trust me. I try to explain these riddles, but they're hard sometimes to explain. Okay. <sighs> Hopefully I will not get lost. Okay. I, I already got lost. Shit. <laughs> I think I'm still in good, uh, still in good, uh, condition. I'm gonna close that door. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Just close it and it's so... I believe that's the bathroom. Actually, the bathroom has something useful. <laughs> it's one of the first Trust You know more than you think you do. Just want to show that off really fast. I basically came in here for a first aid though. <laughs> okay. Time for some riddle solving. Oh yeah. Let's see if I remember anything. Yep. Doing good so far. Oh. You're not gonna take a gun? Why can't you put it in your like your pocket? Is it like an- Oh! Wait, what? You can't aim? That's weird. Interesting. Okay. Examine? It said examine. Kinda curious what happens if you examine some- Okay, well, whatever. I don't know what that really says, so I'm gonna like zoom in on that. Sequester does not equal safe? 
I don't know what that means. <laughs> Whatever. Well, I got an ID card right now, if you saw that. And I'm gonna go right here. Put the ID in. <laughs> A library card. <laughs> oh, okay, now it works. Okay, cool. Let's put on this. There's something written here. Alright. Time for a puzzle. Don't worry, I think I got this one. Is that Louis Armstrong? I think I remember this. I did this at my friend's house because we like playing Silent Hill games. It's fun. <laughs> no, Bard. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna love Louis Armstrong. It's interesting. Right. I think that's right. <laughs> no, Bard. <laughs> no. <laughs> 85, 11, 36. Glad I remember that. And then it's like, where, like, 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 where's that at? And I'll show you. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Get out of here. Oh, that's why, because you couldn't aim in there. It's like, oh, okay. Could I actually shoot the window? No, you can't. This game makes no sense, of course. <laughs> I wasted a shot on the, oh, well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Open it. <laughs> and you could like kill these dolls right now because there's like spirits around trying to kill me. So I don't need to because I'm just gonna run away like I usually do in this game because that's like a good uh thing you could do in this game. Just close the door and you're all good. <laughs> and right here. There's like a little passcode, and we just saw that thing, so hopefully it's 85, 11, 36. Yep, it's all good. I almost didn't remember that for some reason, but okay. Even though I sound like I'm like all confident and shit. <laughs> okay, examine what? Shepherd House. Oh, that is from Silent Hill Homecoming, by the way. So there's like little references here and there, so I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Oh god. Oh god, I'm out of bullets. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I should have just threw the gun at her. No, Barney, no. Oh, okay, it, it's like totally out of bullets, so screw you. I don't need it, no. I thought I had like seven more bullets and I could like reload or something. The upper level. Nurses will hold me. <laughs> I like how you're stepping on it and you're saying that <laughs> I wonder if this is gonna break. <laughs> <laughs> he could have like stood there and thought about it before doing that, but whatever. Alright, more maps. The footprints. Anything? No. Well, I think like after like this part, I really feel like this game's like linear after the library part. But man, the biggest exploration was episode 7, if you don't know what to do. It's so exploration, it sucks. I don't like when games like completely like leave you like that, then it's like, come on. 
Like, I was never going to figure it out. Like, I didn't know you could bring stuff down with, like, a hook. <laughs> like, a hook weapon. But, once you know all that, then it's like, oh, okay. And then it's like, gets to the good stuff again. Oh, crap. Oh! Oh, shit. Move. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I should have had a weapon. Okay, I'm leaving, my god. Trust me, like, uh, breaking those statues takes, like, a long time, so... i rather not deal with it. <laughs> i rather not. Okay. No... Something's here. Slides. As you see, I got slides. So from that first room that I showed you, before like I started my whole exploration, yep, I have to go all the way back now. I'm probably gonna fast forward to that room right now, <laughs> since you know like where I have to go right now. It's kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> this game's a pain in the ass sometimes. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if I could take a shortcut. I'm gonna see if the shortcut works. Oh god. <laughs> a shortcut to get uh, there faster to the room I showed you at first with the slides. Perfect. You know, I didn't do that bad actually. I did pretty good for solving that and showing what I had to show, I guess. I guess. Uh, I kind of want to open the door, but okay. <laughs> Taking all the Silent Hill goodness. <laughs> uh, Murphy Pendleton's a great character. I think he's a great character. Alright, so right here... We got some slides. And now if you look at the screen... They're, um, different. So... It's like, net, net. And that's three. Three is one. This one's, uh, nine or ten. And that one's six, I think. Oh no, V1. V1 is six, yeah. So nine... So nine, six, and one. Okay. And it says number three is one. I think it's nine, six, one. So right here, it has like those same sort of symbols right here. So hopefully it's right. Nine, six, one. Yeah, it's some always like the first one, but yeah. <laughs> I feel like you could like skip everything I just did right now <laughs> and just try to guess that, but I want to show how I do the real side. This can be like, I looked it up. That's how you have to do it. <laughs> and now I got an ID card. So what's it gonna do, Matthew? And then you're gonna play ball with all your hard work. You know? In the way I see it, it's sort of a win-win situation, right? <laughs> Guys like Napier, 
I've got no business breathing the same air as you in here, right? He's naked here. Is it the fat guy? Of course. And the bleeding hearts out there insist we sequester guys like him away from the general population for their safety. Can you believe that shit? For their safety. <laughs> Let me ask you this. What about Charlie's safety, huh? So this is how it's gonna work. I'll give you access to Napier. Make sure you get some quality time with that worthless sack of shit. I'll see to it no one finds him until I've had a chance to scrub the place down. Keep you in the clear. But in exchange, you're gonna owe me a favor. Think you can do that for me, sport? Mm. <laughs> of course you can. I know you're a man of your word, Murphy. You be a straight shooter with me. I'll be a straight shooter with you. <laughs> this guy's such like an ass. <laughs> Remember, Captain, you owe me one. Kill cake. <laughs> Interesting. And I think I could keep going right now. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's creepy. Alright, now I got an ID card, and I have no idea where to go right now. I think I go- Oh! Actually, I do know where to go. Wow. Okay, cool. I'll go through here first. <laughs> Cupcake. Now I go on that awesome elevator. And there should be like an 18th floor I can go on. Oh, I do access. I guess the elevator was out. And you can go to 18. <laughs> Murphy's an awesome character. <laughs> Oh, that sounds like disgusting. He's just like breaking his head. <laughs> but it doesn't hurt. I'm not take this fire extinguisher over me. <laughs> Alright. Pretty sure a cutscene will happen here pretty soon. For my part, I know nothing with any certainty. But just the sight of the stars makes me dream. Shut up! Oh, I wanted to throw it like this. Oh, I can't even break the mirror. <laughs> Fire extinguishers don't break mirrors, saddle. Can I break this one though? That must be DJ Rex. <laughs> I just tried to throw a fire extinguisher on him. That, my brothers and sisters, was another rock and roll classic coming to you courtesy of DJ Ricks on this fine afternoon. Weatherman says there's a storm coming our way to spoil the fun. So batten down the hatches and snuggle up under the blanket with the one you love, because it's going to be a rough ride. And speaking of rough rides, we got another dedication going out to my man with the plan, Murphy Pendleton. Somebody out there has got an eye on you, MP, so watch your back and keep it on track. Hey man, come on in. Got a disc spinning right now, so you ain't interrupting nothing. <laughs> man, you look like you just saw a ghost or something. You alright? Not really, no. Good to hear. So what can DJ Bobby Ricks do for you? Uh Murphy Pendleton? Like I was saying, what can DJ Bobby Ricks do for you, Murphy? Got a track you wanna play or? I'm the guy you've been putting out the dedications for. I got the message. I came to find you. Afraid you got the wrong man, Murphy. I don't know what you're talking about. But if there's a song you want to hear or a dedication you want to make, I could. You're listening to the DJ Rick Show on WLMN FM, where the tracks are tight and the sweet melodies flow on and on. It's always a perfect day with DJ Rick's your on-air friend to the end. Look, man. I came through hell and high water to get here because you called me. Now cut the bullshit, because I don't have time for this. Chill out, man. If you don't keep your voice down, you're going to get us both in trouble. 
You do not want that. You don't know who might be listening. You understand? Thank God someone finally heard me. I, I can't even tell you how long it's been just spinning record after record after record, hoping someone. What the hell's going on here, Rex? What is this place? Well, time to explain. If we're gonna get out of here, we gotta move fast. You get this far tells me we might. Might even have a chance of getting out alive. What's the plan? Right. Listen, I got this boat. She's more down at the marina. She's fast, real fast. Probably is some motherfucker ransacked the studio and check the keys. I'll hotwire it. No problem. Uh, that's not gonna work. This place, it, it does strange shit to reality, man. It's like there's rules you gotta gotta follow. You, you know what I mean? Bobby Ricks. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. Who's it going out to? But I, uh, that's that's nice of you to think of me. Yeah, real nice. Thank you. They're coming. Who? Does it matter? We gotta find those keys. The on the silver chain says freedom. You can't. Miss, um. Pendleton. Put the gun down, damn it. We might have a way out of here. You. I need to use your phone. Sorry, lady. Calls come in, but don't go out. Just because folks want to be heard, don't mean they're willing to listen. See for yourself. What the hell's going on around here? No! Run! <laughs> Sorry for this extra long crispy episode, but yeah, it's pretty interesting. <laughs> well, we'll find out next time what happens in Silent Hill Downpour, and shit's hitting the fan as you can see, so hopefully uh, Murphy will get the heck out of Silent Hill, and I don't know what DJ Ricks was getting on about, and I don't know why that cop has such a grudge against me. Hopefully all these answers will be answered soon in Silent Hill Downpour with Tom Wolf. Stay classy, noisy, eat your pizza. Boom chakalaka!